Hello friends, in this amazing video, I am going to discuss a trick through which you will be able to square the decimal numbers in a single step without actual multiplication. Yes, without actual multiplication, that too within a time of just 4 to 5 seconds. If you can do that in competitions, then a lot of problems will be solved. And obviously, saving time is of utmost importance in competitions. So let's have some examples. Suppose we have the first example. This is 2.3 whole square. Now how do we square 2.3? Now see, square of 2 is 4. Okay, I'll write the steps also so that you can remember uh, the exact method. Square of 2 is the first thing we will write and then we will write double of the product of these two numbers 2 into 3 and then we will write the square of the units digit that is 3 square. So these are the three things you have to write separated by slashes. Very easy and after this you will have the answer. See I am writing this step just for your convenience in the subsequent examples. I will not be writing this step and reducing the num amount of time I am consuming to find out the square. So see 2 square is 4, 3 into 2 is 6, double is 12 and 3 square is 9. Now start from here and start retaining the unit digit and if it is a 2 digit number you have to carry the tens digit to the next part. So here we have a single digit, so 9 comes in the units place. Here we have a 2 digit number, so retain the unit digit that is 2 and carry forward this 1 here. So this 1 gets added to 4 making it 4 plus 1, 5 and just put a decimal 2 digits from the right side, you will have the square of 2.3. Isn't that easy? In the first example, it might look a little bit difficult, but yes, practice is required for every mathematical concept. So let's have one or two more examples. So this is 3.6 whole square. Now let's see what numbers we have to write. So I'll not be writing this step now. 3 square is 9. 3 into 6 is 18 and double of 18 is 36 and 6 square is 36. So I have written the three numbers and now start retaining the units place and carrying forward the tens digit. Starting from here, you have 6 which will be retained and 3 will be carried forward. So if you carry forward this 3, this will become 39. So 9 will be retained and 3 will be carried forward. So 9 plus 3, 12. And put a decimal 2 digits from the right side, you have 12.96 as the square of 3.6. I am sure with this example, you must be feeling more comfortable with this method. Let's have the third example now. Suppose we have 4.8 whole square. Now see, 4 square is 16, 8 into 4 is 32 and double of that is 64 and 8 square is 64. So start from the unit place, 4, 6 comes here. So 64 plus 6 is 70, so 0 comes here and 7 is carried forward. Now 16 plus 7 is 23, so you have 23.04 as the square of 4.8. Friends, I am taking only numbers which have a single digit here before the decimal and a single digit after the decimal. In subsequent videos, I shall take other examples as well. So let's have three more examples. This is example number four. Let's have 5.7 square. Now see 5 square is 25. 
7 5 are 35, double is 70 and 7 square is 49. So let's write the answer 9. So 4 comes here, it becomes 74. So 4, 7 gets added here, 25 plus 7 is 32. So 32.49 is the square of 5.7. Now I will explain less. So let's have 7.2 square. 7 square is 49. 7 2 is 14, double is 28. And 2 square is 4. So 4 retained, 8 retained, 2 carried forward. So 51. So 51.84. Let's have 9.4 square. 9 square is 81, 9 4 is 36, becomes 72 and 4 square is 16, so 6 retained, 1 comes here, 73, 3 retained, 7 comes here, 88, so we have 88.36 as the square of 9.4. So friends, how much time you are going to take to calculate the squares of such numbers? I am sure with the practice of 10 minutes and solving 20, 30 such examples, you will feel comfortable in finding the squares of such numbers within 3 seconds or maximum 4 seconds time. Friends, if you like this video, do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel.